Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the Golden Glove Show. With me is Sebastian Rothman. Welcome all the way from Pretoria. And of course our champion here, Jabalani McKenzie. Jabalani is 9-0. and Jabalani, we um, 12 days out. The big tournament, all or nothing. You're going to be defending that, uh, that WBA and IBF All Africa title. And of course you're fighting Harry Simon, who's 11-0. and He's the son of the famous Harry Simon, who I in fact managed and trained many years ago. Namibia's first world champion, Harry Simon. He's still undefeated, in fact, the father. You fighting the son, who's 11 and 0. Um, I'm not sure if he's nearly as good as his father is, but we know you're a great fighter. Firstly, talk to us quickly, Jablani McKenzie. How's your preparation gone for this fight? Ah, thanks, Brian. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank all the you know, for the opportunity. And God, uh, of course, for the opportunity as well. So, you know, like, um, we're prepared for this fight. The camp uh, has been going so well. You know, uh, my coach been pushing me and the team. So, yeah, we're ready for the fight. We just can't wait to, to fight next week. Does it bother you at, at all that, that the guy's undefeated and that he's the son of, of, a, of a legend? Uh, I respect him for that, you know. But then I strive to be the best, you know. And um, for me to be the best, it means I must fight the best. So, yeah, we'll see next week who's the best. I believe I'm the best. Fantastic. Well, let's talk to your, your trainer, Sebastian Rothman, a former world champion himself. Sebastian, we, we spoke off camera about Harry Simon. We spoke about your mania, Jabalani McKenzie. Um, nice compliment that, that you gave him. You said you get goosebumps when you think about how good he actually is and how good he can be. And uh, I said to him as well that I think he's one of the best fighters in the country right now. And, and obviously, if we, we talk quickly about work rate before, which I've, as a commentator, I said maybe the only thing he was lacking a bit was work rate. Have you worked on something like yes, that? Yes, we definitely did. Um, um and also, you mustn't forget that Harry Simon Jr., besides being 11 0, is nine knockouts. Okay. So you have to respect the power. You don't fear it, and that's what I teach my fighters. You don't fear it, you accept it. But um, there, is, there is a power issue there. Um, to, to dominate this guy, we can't just slug it out. So you have to have first boxing skills, which I truly believe Jabalani has. And we've worked on so many new things. It's almost challenging me as a coach. If I don't learn further, you know, he's going to get bored. And that's, that's the one thing that um, I need to keep Jabalani thinking the whole time. In this fight, we're going up against a, a, a big puncher. I don't think he's as good as his dad. Um, but even if he is, um, we're going in the mindset that we're fighting at Errol Spence or whoever. Correct. So, and because of that, we just lifted the game. I, I truly believe this performance by Jabalani next week, Saturday, is going to be something special. People are going to sit out there and say, this is boxing. And um, that's what we were working on. So we were looking at a complete thing, um, not just technically, not just work rate, not just power punches now, and then you want him to sit on his punches. We're looking at a, 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 a whole a, um, system where everything fits in, where it almost turns like a wheel. And I think at the moment we're, we're, we're almost there. Awesome. So a quick prediction. Your man uh, defended WBA and IBF Africa title on the 21st of March, all or nothing at Empress Palace. Successfully by stoppage. Awesome. Yeah, stoppage. Stoppage. Okay, we're not finished with you guys quite yet. Now let's talk. We're going to go, which we, we shouldn't normally do because you first got to beat one guy at a Correct. time. We've got to still get past Harry Simon. But I do, I do believe you're going to as well. I, I believe he's, he's going to win. Jabalani McKenzie is a great talent. Lou DeBella, Rodney Berman's uh, partner in America that is part of, of Wilder as well. Lou DeBella is a big promoter in America. He's shown interest in you guys. He wants to promote you guys. The contract is signed, so that'll be a big fight coming off sometime in America. How do you feel about that, Sebastian? Very excited. Um, it also puts us in a, in a different level, which is why we have to produce this Saturday, to, to show people, you know, we, we're up there. Um, excited. It's going to be challenging. Remember, we also, with the African kids, when you go overseas in, in Europe or in the States or wherever, it's a total different surrounding where you live, what you eat before fight or stuff like that. So it's, it's going to be a learning experience, but, but I think my man, he's going to enjoy it, I think. Awesome. Well, good luck for the Thanks 21st so of March. Good luck, Jabalani. Last question to both of you. Is the work rate up? Yes, for sure. Up. Are you going to up the work rate in this fight? Yeah, very up. Because you're a brilliant fighter. Obviously, just a bit more work rate yeah. and you'll have it all together. So good luck, guys. Thanks for watching this week's edition of the Golden Glove Show.